Alright guys, this is Narada and I with another good strategy video for PUBG. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm ranked somewhere in the top 1%, solo third person. I'm trying to rank up in duos, getting there. So we start off here with a, a straight path over power grid. So that's where I'm going to end up landing, is power grid. Uh, I typically like to land somewhere that's a decent population center to get some early kills and some good loot without being overbearing and crazy. Uh, that's going to knock you out of the game early. It's going to be hard to rank up the leaderboards if you're getting those early deaths. So let me just speed this up for the landing point. And as you see, I actually go for the northernmost building here. Um, if you have a busy power grid like I did here with the plane going directly above, um, you're going to want to avoid landing at that southern brick building uh, that you see over that way. That building is mainly, you're going to end up with a big crowd over there struggling to find guns, and you want to avoid a situation where they found guns and you didn't. That's no good. That's no good at all. So here you see I dropped pretty much by myself. I'm able to just go ahead and start looting up. Um, no one really near me, so I'm going to speed it up while I get this loot done. Now, unfortunately, for this first building, I'm not able to find any kind of real good guns. Usually, you're able to get at least one AR in here of some sort, but I ended up with a pistol shotgun combo, which, I mean, it's not terrible for early game, but I'm not getting anything long range. So, you're going to want to move in close, play pretty aggressive with this weapon set. Uh, I always head toward the warehouses, loot the warehouses first, and make my approach up to the busier building. So you see here, I have not yet seen that enemy just yet. Making sure I play nice and slow so I can hear. Here's first contact. Pulling out the shotgun for the close engagement. And popping the shotgun. Yes, and there it is, got it. And with a, the pump shot, are you really going to want to play your shots where you pop a shot, take cover, pop another shot. Oh, right here I got surprised from behind. Almost lost this one here, but managed to pull off that second shot. That is the risk with shotguns. They're really, really good for close range engagements, but if you miss, uh, you're pretty much toast. Especially if you end up out in the open like that. Uh, if I can find a car 98, really I like to keep hold of that uh, so that you can do an AR with a 4x and then a car 98 for that powerful first hit bolt action rifle see if you can get the headshot if not land a good chunking body shot all right and these buildings have been looted but I wanted to actually show you guys this uh, it's an important piece so this building here had already been looted um, but I wanted to check it again because sometimes people miss some things up here and you'll see here in a second what I'm able to find uh, also, I uh, just switched out my jackets there, so I have my loadout typically for a decent camo um, for the green map. So when you're on desert, it's not the best. So you can switch out to lighter color things, get a little bit more camouflage in this desert map. So now if you look up here, you spot that 8x scope. So this just goes to show you that even though something's looted, you still want to kind of give it a nice little check, especially a building like this. Structure of buildings really quite decent. All right, so we're so we're talking now. We've got a UMP, not the greatest, uh, but it'd be good for close range engagement. And a Car 98, 8x, and a suppressor. So we're ready to enter into mid game now. So 37 left to lie. Now remember, my only real advantage to push is going to be the Car 98. So I need to have that element of surprise and catch them when they're not really moving a whole lot. So here you see some cars start to approach. And I decide not to take the shot here. I'm going to wait for a surefire thing here. I don't want to give away my position. Even though it is suppressed, you give away your position, now everybody starts moving a whole heck of a lot more. So we've got three cars rolling up here. Like he's going to stop at these buildings, which is perfect. We've got the advantage on this entire firefight that's about to unfold. We just kind of bide our time and wait for a good shot. It 
still nothing presenting itself, you're gonna wanna wait for a decent shot. So here, looks like I might get a little greedy and take a shot, um, but just kinda hoping that he'll stop so you can get that head shot off. He's bouncing around a lot, moving around a lot, and not really gonna get anything out of that, but that is okay. I'm checking behind me. Remember, there was a third car, so I want to keep an eye behind me so I don't get taken from behind. Because right now, these guys down here still don't know I'm up here, so you're going to want to push that advantage. Always push your advantages. One becomes available. So he moved into the big farmhouse, which I don't really have a good shot on for the outside back end towards Circle. If you look at Circle here, uh, Circle's actually up northern, so on the other side of that. So I move to go ahead and get a decent position and see if I can get a shot on this guy. All right, so I've spotted him now. Here's where I got greedy. Tried to get a shot, missed it. So my position's pretty much given up now, so I'm going for the tire. Uh, but it looks like he's going to start engaging me, so I need to start shooting back. So you see there, I held the peak. I got real lucky here and almost died uh, for holding that peak. Got a little too greedy, guys. Don't get greedy with your shots. Take your shot with a bolt action and then go back. So I've used my med kit, and I'm still in the fight. That was actually a really, really close call there. Uh, came very close to dying. And if you look, that little bit of greed right there would have knocked me out at 22nd place. Uh, instead, I fin end up finishing pretty high on this one. All right, trying not to get tunnel vision. Still watching the outside here for anybody else coming in. So he's taking shots at me, as you can see. I think he's trying to bait me into fighting him. I don't. I doubt that he knows that I have 8x car 98. I doubt it. So I see him in the window there and land my shot on him. He lands a shot on me. Pretty much in a car 98 duel at this point. There it is. Got the headshot on him. So I'm going to get bandaged up and head down there and see what I can loot. So he ends up having some pretty decent loot down here. I end up stocking up on an M416 with a 4X scope and my car 98. So we're off to the races now. This is a really good situation for late game and I'm just getting into the circle and getting a pretty decent spot so I start taking some shots from up there turn a little bit of fire see if I can engage this is just not a very good spot so I'm gonna need to move here so I saw him stop peeking so I'm gonna go ahead and start running it and remember if you're running in a direction you can press uh, default control is alt um, and you can free look while running in a direction so I've got a little bit better cover here, and this is where I'm going to engage from. And the point here, you can see on the mini-map down below, right in here, uh, he's outside of this circle. So that's my advantage here. He's got a, a sniper rifle, sounded like a better sniper rifle, but I've got the advantage. He has to get into circle. So you see there, I hit him once, tried to hit him again, and now it's time to just start throwing rounds at him. All right, so now he'll probably be stationary again, see if I can't land a really nice shot on him here. So that's kind of the strategy. is car 98 for stationary and for that first big hit, and then you switch to the auto weapon. So he got me there, won that exchange, but I still have the advantage because he's got to push for circle. So he's waiting on his push and be patient. Patient with this game. And every time he peeks me, I duck because I have the advantage. So you're just going to force him. You, uh, there's no reason to peek. He's holding a peek. He's a better peek than you've got. Uh, likely you're going to lose this engagement if you go for it. So just hold. 
wait for him to move because he's getting chunked by circle pretty good. Alright, he's on the move, out in the open, starts throwing some rounds on him, and picked up the kill. There it is. Now, because he's way out there, we're not going to get that loot, so moving on. We've got good enough loot. Loot time is over. It's endgame. We don't really need loot here. Alright, as you can see, I'm getting nice and healed up. Um, I'm in the next circle already. I got a minute and a half and some pretty good cover, good range, so I'm just going to start kind of taking peeks and seeing what I can drum up. I had heard some shots up in that direction, that's why I keep peeking that. So I'm just kind of keeping an eye on when he's going to come up above, because really with this cover, he is the only real threat to me up there. So I want to keep an eye on what he's doing, especially when I'm making a little bit of noise, taking these free shots that I've got. So always push your advantage. My advantage here is my cover, so I want to make sure that no one's so let me see. Alright, so let me back that up just slightly. So, like I said, your the advantage here, pushing your advantage is cover. I'm gonna peek that side again here. And there he is. Here he comes. There he is. So I'm gonna take my shot. I believe I nailed it there and start following up with the forex. So I hit him three times, one last hit, did not pick it off. So now I'm gonna move to a little bit of a better cover where I've got that angle on him. You can see his health is super low there before he first aids. And I'm back out to the car 98 waiting to get that first initial power shot on him. Now here again, my advantage is the circle. So he has to move. Here comes the circle in and I'm just going to wait for him to be out in the open. I'm not going to try anything risky. So here he comes. He's moving in on the circle and I take my shot and now it's time to feel the he's in the open. It's goes to fire at me, I duck, pushing my advantage. I'm not even a good shot. Just pushing that advantage. That's all it is. Solos and, you know, duos, really this game in general, it's a lot less about how good you are at firefights, way more about pushing advantage. So on other people's channels, here I am moving into the next circle, but on other people's channels, you're going to see them. They're really, really good shots. They're winning most of their shots just by bold combat moves, where they're just outgunning everyone. You're not really going to see that from me. I'm a decent shot, but not at the level of some of these guys. But I push advantages and use strategy and positioning to win games. All right. So I hear some free shots uh, that I get to take. I've got okay cover at best. It's not as good as what I had. trying to get these guys out in the open. When they're running like that, you're not really going to pick up the full action shot. So just go ahead and start throwing around that open 4x AR. See if you can land anything. So I hit him a couple times there. Enough to make him waste meds, waste time. And the important thing here is if you look at my positioning, I'm on the edge of the circle. Uh, I already know from my last position that behind me is completely clear. So I'm actually free to really start taking out risky shots, and no one's there except in this direction. So I'm just able to throw out as many shots as I want at this point. And I pick up the kill eventually. And like I said, I'm not that great of a shot, but you don't have to be if you're using your positioning and strategy correctly. Here's the next guy. So again, out in the open, I take the shot, hit him. Did not quite aim high enough for the headshot, but at this point, it's a free kill. Chunked him with a chest shot, made a couple shots, there we go, dead. Alright, it's 1v1, and I have no idea where this guy is, so this is where it gets a little bit interesting. 1v1, the circles are really bad for me here, so I'm going to go ahead and move to the next bit of cover and see if he reveals himself, because right now I just need to find out where he's at, because that next circle is no good for me, and my best guess here, without knowing where he's at, like we can see where he's at now, is he's on the other side of that hill in the circle, 
So I'm trying to come up with a decent strategy to push that hill, maybe draw his fire, see what I can generate here to get this chicken dinner in the 1v1 situation. Now there is no position, now because of circle, there is no position that I can push. There is no advantage I can exploit. So I'm pretty much just gonna have an out in the open firefight here and I need to prepare for it. So I'm gonna pretty soon here jump over to that hay bale and at least get towards circle to where I'm not forced on their time to move to circle. Seeing if I can spot them in the grass maybe, no luck, no luck. All right, it's time to move, 19 seconds. Let's see if we can draw them out and get over to a little bit of cover. I'm gonna switch here from my 4x scope to my red dot that I've kept on me for a close range engagement. So I do so. Still don't know where he's at. Uh, best guess here, like I said, is over this hill. So I'm at the hill, he's not fired at me yet, so my best guess is he's camping on the other side of that hill. So let's throw some nades and start pushing this hill. Now, unfortunately, as you see here, yeah, he's completely on my side. I'm on the open back to him. No chance. So that's all I got for this one, guys. Uh, stay tuned for the next PUBG strategy video with Narada and I.